Poshmark, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, PayPal, Pirate Ship, Android, iOS, Windows, MacBooks, and I'm probably forgetting some other stuff. But... Yeah, it's a really good printer. And yes, it's wireless. I'm actually really excited to get this video out because the information is not on the internet yet. For some reason, we're still in an eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Etsy culture where the Dymo 4XL is the king. But please do not buy that printer, especially brand new. There are way better options out there. This is one of them. You've probably never heard of this printer. It's Got a weird name, the Brother QL-1110NWB, which they could have done a little better on the name. In this video, we're gonna go over key features of the printer. We're gonna go over some lesser features, but still really cool features. We're gonna go over the printer itself, some of the buttons and ports and everything. And then we're gonna go over a couple of things I actually don't like about it. It could be improved upon. This video is not sponsored at all by Brother. With all that aside, let's get straight into the printer. If you didn't already know, this is a thermal label printer, meaning that the only costs associated with this is the printer itself, your electricity to power it, and the labels. It uses heat right here to transfer an image to the labels, so you're not going to have any extra costs of ink or toner. What makes the Brother better than the others? The number one thing that makes this printer shine is the technology. This has the option of wireless networking. You can print wirelessly from a Mac, You can print wirelessly from a PC. You can print wirelessly from an Android. And you can even crush it wirelessly from an iOS device, an iPhone, or an iPad. And I haven't seen this feature available on any other printers where you take your Amazon SKUs for Amazon FBA, you can change the labels from four by six to these smaller labels, which I will put a link to in the description. This works on a Windows PC. You hit print. I already set up the settings so the printer kind of knows what it's getting into. And it will auto crop from that eight and a half by 11, figures out where the barcode is and it just prints it out just like that. It's just crushing Amazon FBA SKUs. You take this bad boy and you can go label all your products and make some money. And to segue from that feature, I'd like to show how easy it is in order to change labels on this Brother printer just like that. Now that we've gone over some of the features, I'm going to show you guys the externals of the printer. We're gonna go over every single button, kind of what they're used for, how it works. So on the back, we have our power supply. The power supply is built into this printer. You don't need a brick like this. You just need one of these cables and it goes directly into the printer. Here we got our heat vent and our fan to cool the power supply of the printer. We have a USB port that's for some sort of scanning functions that I've never used before. It has an ethernet port that you can use. The connection will be a little bit faster than Wi-Fi. I don't use it because I just connect it to the Wi-Fi. And you have your antiquated USB port. We're not really gonna be using this. Really where this printer shines is that it is wireless. On the front of your printer, you have your power button. Believe it or not, there are some printers that don't come with a power button. We're not gonna mention any names, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. This is our feed button. For whatever reason, you want to feed a blank label, you can hold it down, that will feed you a blank label. Or if your label is sticking out a little bit, you press that button and it'll reverse it back in to the ready position. Next, we have the scissors, which utilizes the cutting function on this printer. It's a personal preference kind of setting thing. Once a label comes out, you can set up the computer to auto cut or to leave it and then you press cut at the end of the string of labels and then it will cut the label for you rather than having to tear it off. Personal preference thing. Next we have Bluetooth. You're going to press and hold this to activate the Bluetooth. Then we can go onto a mobile device 
connect via Bluetooth. You can print via Bluetooth rather than a wireless network. You would use this function maybe if you're in a hotel or you're in a car or whatever, you have your printer plugged in, you don't have a wireless network that you're on and you could just beam to the device in the middle of nowhere if you needed to print out a shipping label. Hold that button, turn Bluetooth off. The next button we have is our wireless network button. So you're gonna press that. It's going to blink indicating that it is looking for a network and then a solid green light means you're connected to the network. The WPS button is what you're going to press in order to initially set up your printer to your network. You're gonna hold that down. That's gonna start blinking. You're gonna to go to your WPS button on your router, press that, they're gonna sync, and then your computer is gonna be on the network. Then you can find it in order to install it on your computer. Bottom of the printer just has serial number, some stuff. Unfortunately, these are made in China. Brothers, a Japanese company, they outsource to China. On the sides, we have these buttons that you pull in order to unlock the top. They have this design of loading labels that's actually really easy, but also proprietary. It comes in these spools. You'll drop the spool, it'll fit into that notch there. It'll drop this other arm into one of these notches here. These feet things in order to signal the printer what labels are loaded in it in order to communicate with the print, with the computer saying, hey, these labels are what I'm printing. This is what I have loaded in here. That matches up and it'll print successfully. The top, this is our roller. That's gonna grip and push the labels forward when the motor turns. There's our print head right there. This mechanism right here reads these black squares and it lets it know sizing of the paper where one label has fed all the way through and then kind of calibrates to the next label. That's what that sensor does. I'd like to shortly interrupt this review to ask everybody out there to give this video a thumbs up. It's right down there. It's really easy to do. You just click or you tap it on your mobile. Super easy. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. It's the best way to support the channel. Thank you guys so much. Sometimes you're gonna need to maintain your printer. Because of the way this printer was designed, maintenance is a breeze. And as you can see, some crud, some residue from the labels, dust is building up on that print head. All you're gonna need to do is take a Q-tip, a little bit of isopropyl, wet your Q-tip, you can clean that print head. This last feature, you're gonna kinda cater it to your needs if you want, and I really like this, it's so cool. So I'm in this Brother label app that I downloaded. I'm gonna create a warning label for Amazon and then I'll show you when I print it after I design it really quick. So I made this super simple. It's literally just text wrapped saying, warning, avoid the suffocation, blah, 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 blah. And we're going to hit print 10 copies of it, go straight to the printer. And it's printing me some suffocation warning labels. So rather than having to buy warning labels, which I've done off of Amazon before, I've bought rolls of warning labels, I can create my own warning labels. I've also used this for do not separate stickers and you could use this to your own imagination and design. I didn't go over every single feature application of this Brother printer, but I hit some main points for you guys. But now I want to hit the three things that they could improve upon that I kind of have an issue with. And first and foremost, the Amazon listing for this Brother printer, if you notice, it has the label printing from the top, but the print head is actually on the bottom of the printer and the labels come out like this. It's a disconnect from how the printer works to how they're advertising it and marketing it. It's silly, yes, but still, brother, you could have just fixed that or whoever created your Amazon listing. Number two, I'm not a big fan of proprietary labels and this black square and this sensor right here is what makes this a proprietary printer. Because it's proprietary, you have to buy these specific labels. Not necessarily from Brother. You can get a pretty affordable 10 pack of them, which is 2000 labels off of Amazon for $53.99 or just about there if the price fluctuates, which comes down to less than three cents a label, actually 2.6 cents a label if you wanna get exact. Um, that's what I did. I spent 50 bucks. I have a giant box of these in the closet and then anytime I run out, I just put them in. I really would have liked it if they made it use non-proprietary labels because it shows that the company isn't just trying to sell you their own labels, but that's what Brother decided to do. 
I still think that the wireless functions, the mobile capabilities outweighs the proprietary label design, but it's definitely still a thing worth mentioning. And last but not least, the other thing that might be an issue with this printer is the price. It is $279 from Amazon. Granted, it is only about $100 more than the Rolo. It is only 60 and it is just a about 60 or so dollars more than the Dymo when Dymo is the normal price and not on sale. You're gonna have to make the decision if it's worth it for you, the convenience. I love it, has improved my workflow for Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, whatever, and just convenience to be able to print from mobile. That is the big takeaway from this video. So in conclusion, very happy with this printer. It does have a high price point, but you're getting something that is pretty much future-proof. It's something that you should be able to use for the next 10 years for your home business. It's not something you're gonna wanna get for commercial use. It's more of like home businesses, eBay, Amazon, Shopify, whatever prints in that PDF four by six platform specific label. Let me know what you think about the printer. I will include links to the labels that I've used or mentioned in this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. It's the best way to support the channel. If you have any encouraging comments, experiences with the Brother printer, experiences with any Zebra or Dymo, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.